Hi guys, this is My Unique Styles coming at you guys with a video and I'm back and I will be doing a doing it yourself body jewelry rhinestone bra. I know it sounds kind of even long but let's just say it's a rhinestone bra. So these are the items that you need, pliers, jump rings, and you also need wire. And I'm just showing you also these clamps that I have. They're bar clamps where you, most of you guys know, is you use them for chokers. Then I have the end clamps, which are round clamps where it's easier to install. So now I'm going to be showing you guys the scissors and you guys are gonna need a weaving needle. Yes, a weaving needle, girls, and y'all know, some of y'all know what it is. So anyway, We'll be doing, what I'm showing you is a few ribbons that I got from Joann's. Um, I got a rhinestone uh, ribbon and I also got, it looks like a velvet type ribbon. So now I'm going to be measuring and what I did was that I had my bra on. So I ended up just measuring where my bra was at. So I cut evenly to how, so that way I could pair them both. So now as you can see, both of them are the same length. You can also use a measuring tape if you need to, if you don't really want to do this. But I'm just showing you how small my waist is and where it needs to be to attach the clamps. So now this is where it gets a little crazy. I'm burning the ends of the the fabrics to keep it from falling apart and what it's do doing is actually sealing the edges of the ribbon and this actually works now I'm going to show you guys how I make the bands and basically I will be starting to cut them I'm gonna cut them in half because I want them a little bit thin so for my shoulders So what I did was put the two pieces that I want to sew together and pretty much guys I'm just basically sewing it as if you're doing like just sewing fabric. And also I want to remind you guys that if you're going to use wire make sure that the gauge is a little bit smaller. I don't know I think I'm using a 16 or a 20 gauge. But I figure that's easier to go through the fabric than if it was a bigger gauge wire. So I just put the string, the straps all together, the ribbons all together, so that you know that way I know how the design's going to go. And voila! It's nice. No, no wires shown or anything because you're basically sewing on the inside. Now, the straps, I'm going to do the same thing by sewing it through the rhinestones. So here you go, here is what it looks like, and simple as that. So now you guys, I'm going to use my class in jumper bars. Now these ones, I'm just going to clamp them really, really tight using the pliers, as tight as you can, and just make sure that it doesn't slip off because it will suck if it slips off because you can't really open the bar clamps once they're closed. So pretty much I'm going to use my pliers to open it a little bit, and then I'm going to use my other pliers and I'm going to attach both of them at the same time by closing it really tight. Now we're going to just add pieces next to each other. Now what I did was when I sew from top to bottom, what I didn't show you because I think the video got deleted, I'm not sure, but I know I did it. Um, you wanna sew also the middle part of the, where the rhinestones are connecting because also what I didn't show was that when you don't connect them, they could like be everywhere and you know, it might not be look right. So I figured, you know, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Also, there's a hole right here, which I'm going to fill it up. And I felt like filling it up and voila, here it is. So sewing the middles, as you can see, keeps it intact. 
so here's what the bra looks like you guys voila it I want it as a velvet feel look so I feel like this is actually pretty good of what I did and pretty much I'm making my band I actually sewed on the rhinestones in the middle of the band that I'm going to use for my choker now I pretty much add the same thing that I add to the bra I'm going to add the in class bars to them and voila here are the the final results and I think that you can wear a mask shirt over it you can wear a jacket and I want to show you guys this is the previous video that I did and I hope you guys check this out thank you like comment and subscribe thank you for watching bye